Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Nostalgia Mall, and we're going to be doing some more stuff involving Windows 98 today. And you're probably wondering why um, we're doing a video about Windows 98 when we're clearly staring at the um, Windows 3.1 Program Manager. Well, um, you always uh, see people upgrading Windows 95 to Windows 98. But did you know that you could also upgrade from Windows 3.1 to Windows 98? Yeah, that's right. That actually was an upgrade path. I don't think a lot of people um, did this. Um, mostly, if you were upgrading to Windows 98, you were coming from Windows 95. So, um, upgrading from 3.1 to 98 is something that's never really um, been done much. Um, I think there is a video on YouTube of someone doing it but I wanted to do my own version of it since it's just something you really don't see much these days and um, I figure you guys might enjoy seeing it so um, I've already got the um, Windows 98 ISO in the drive this is um, being done in 86 box so this is in a um, emulator not a real computer so let's go to um, file manager and double click setup. All right. <laughs> it's odd seeing this in the Windows um, 3.1 interface, but like I said, this is very much possible. <laughs> Notice it still says Windows 98 is even easier to use than Windows 95, even though this is um, Windows 3.1. Um, the specs of this. Um, of this machine. Um, it's a uh, Pentium, uh, 120 megahertz Pentium with 32 megs of RAM and a 2 gig hard drive. Now, um, as I've said before, um, I typically don't run Windows 98 on a um, non MMX based CPU, but I think for this, um, we'll be able to get away with it. So let's go ahead and continue. Yeah, mostly if you were upgrading from Windows 3.1, you were usually going just to 95, but again, it was very much possible to go to 98 from 3.1. And 98 is the highest you can go from 3.1, by the way. Um, ME and anything beyond that, you have to have at least Windows 95 installed. Right, I definitely read that. Okay, put our product key in. Okay, we'll install it to C colon slash windows as usual. And in this um, emulated computer, I've also installed several Windows 3.1 era applications just to make it seem like this is a computer that's been used over the years. And yeah. <laughs> okay, it's uh, checking for install components. And by the way, um, we're actually upgrading to Windows 98 Second Edition this time. Which um, is the superior Windows 98, in my opinion. There's really no reason to ever use First Edition, if you ask me. Okay, setup can save your existing MS DOS and Windows system files. Um, I'm not keeping this computer, so we'll just say no. Now, 
Upgrading from 95 to 98, we don't get this screen for some reason. This is um, where you can um, select the Windows components that you want installed. Um, apparently, you get it going from 3.1 to 98, but not 95 to 98. That's kind of odd. So I guess we'll do a custom. We'll give it everything. How about that? Except for web TV, because that's just stupid. <laughs> okay, we'll just give it WFW to 98. <laughs> Windows 3.1 to Windows 98. Even though this doesn't have a network card in it. will not create a startup disk because I've got about 50 Windows 98 startup disk. <laughs> All right, final click folks. Point of no return once again. So long Windows 3.1. And um, I guess I'll just pause the video here and I'll catch y'all on the other side. Okay, looks like we're um, done with the file copy, and now we just got to do a restart. And we got the Windows 98 splash screen. There's my DOS drivers. So, <laughs> look how the text looks. It's weird looking. It's kind of like it's squished. <laughs> I don't think it does that when you um, do a 95 to 98 upgrade. And again, um, I never, um, when I was a kid and Windows 98 was still the current operating system for Windows, I never um, did any. Um, upgrade from 95 to 98. I always just got new computers that had 98 pre-installed on it, so what you're seeing here is something I just never did back then. Although I have upgraded uh, 98 to ME though. And that's a very, very similar process to this. Except like I mentioned earlier, you can't go from, from uh, 3.1 to ME. So far, so good.
Okay, got to restart again. All right, we're getting there. Alright, we're at the final part of setup now. Setting up the control panel. It's converting the program manager groups to start menu items. time zone we are in the eastern time zone and the unusually amusing Windows 98 drum <laughs> and this part's gonna take a while so I will um, pause the video right here all right we are pretty much done now so we'll just tell it to restart now, and um, the, after this reboot, we should be in um, Windows 98 for good. All right. I'm just making an adjustment there. Let's 
So yeah, we completely bypassed Windows 95 and went straight to 98. <laughs> Again, this is something not many people um, probably did. If, but if you or someone you know um, has done this, um, please let me know. I'm curious because I'm weird. A little bit slow, but again, this is this is using slower hardware than what you would usually run 98 on. I'm not sure why OBS is putting that gray bar at the bottom. I apologize. And that's the um, Office 4.2 um, toolbar up there. Ugh. Yeah. Welcome to the world of emulation, folks. <laughs> Normally I'd let that play out, but it didn't sound that healthy. So yeah, we automatically got high color. The properties, nothing too exciting here. Go to device manager. All right, everything is working except the printer port. Go to the start menu. And there's all our programs from Windows 3.1. Publisher 2.0. That works surprisingly well. Of course, all this is 16-bit um, programs. I've got Word 3.0 there. Got the Gus game. So yeah, um, we even get some of the old Windows 3.1 applications in here, like the um, card file. 95 and later didn't have that. Anything else here interesting? Um, oh yeah, our drive is still FAT16, so... Um, if we wanted to, we could easily convert this to FAT32, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> this um, emulated computer was only created for this one little experiment. I'm not keeping it. I'm going to be deleting it after this video. So had the MS DOS drive label there, and the um, DOS folder where um, DOS 6.22 um, once lived. And the um, driver folder for Windows 3.1, which is um, completely useless now in Windows 98. And one thing I just realized um, is it, it didn't keep the um, wallpaper I set in Windows 3.1. It was um, this wallpaper right here. Um, it didn't um, keep the setting there, but oh well. <laughs> Usually does when you do 3.1 to 95, but apparently 90, apparently 3.1 to 98, that, that just can't be done. And my day is ruined. No, not really. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's something you really don't see every day, um, upgrading Windows 3.1 to Windows 98. I hope that was exciting enough for you. I know it was for me. I'm just, um, I I'm on the verge of tears. I'm so excited that we were able to do this. <laughs> so anyway, I guess that's all there is to show in this video. This is Billy Core signing off.
Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.